previously on Going, going, going back, back. Back, back If you joined us on some of our last videos, we saw how wheat was made, how falafels were made, made the biggest falafel in Luxor history. Look at the size of that thing. We learned how sun bread was made from start to finish. It was fascinating to see how the different breads were made in Egypt, from homemade bread to manufactured bread. We took a journey to Cairo to visit Abu Tarek, the number one kushiri restaurant in all of Egypt. Luxor, Egypt is known for being particularly vegetarian friendly, as traditional Egyptian food includes meat and other dairy products. However, some vegan options are available. One of the options is a falafel, another one is kushiri, another is called the maza platter. This includes various vegetable dishes like baba ganoush, hummus, and tabbouleh. In today's video, I will be visiting Nubian House, a family home and restaurant located in Luxor, Egypt. Going, going, back, back. Allow us to reintroduce ourselves. Our name is Going, Going, Back, Back. In 2019, we had three kids under five, a new minivan, and a house full of things. With our eldest due to start school in a few months, we decided it was now or never to take an extended vacation. And so we set off to explore the world and be back in time for his first day. We were several months into our trip when the pandemic hit and schools around the globe shut down. It confirmed the idea that was already brewing in our minds, that there was no better classroom than the one our kids were already in, the world. We sold our minivan, gave away everything that couldn't fit into a suitcase, and became full-time travelers. Join us as we very slowly travel the world, going, going, going back, back. My family and I had a rare opportunity to visit a Nubian village in Aswan, Egypt. The Nubian people are an indigenous group who mostly situate along the Nile River in southern Egypt and northern Sudan. One of the striking things about Nubian village life is the omnipresent hospitality of the people. The Nubian culture is vibrant and colorful. Their art, music, and dance play an essential role in their everyday life. These villages are characterized by mud brick houses with flat roofs, colorful decorations, and surrounded by stunning landscapes. The houses in the Nubian villages are predominantly painted bright shades of blue, green, and orange, with intricate geometric patterns and motifs adorning the walls. Despite the challenges they have faced, the Nubian people continue to preserve their culture, values, and traditions. Their hospitality, resilience, and resourcefulness are an inspiration to many people around the world. During the construction of the Aswan High Dam, many Nubians were displaced from the villages. Others migrated, which is the case with my neighbor, Nubi and his family, who opened up Nubian House, a restaurant and traditional Nubian home located in Luxor, Egypt. Here, he and his family have found a community and continue to keep alive their unique culture, language, and religious beliefs. The Nubian House Restaurant is a popular restaurant located on the banks of the Nile in Luxor, Egypt, near Ramla. Here is the owner's son to tell us more about Nubian House. This restaurant is a home. Yeah, and it was just an idea, you know. We love to uh, let the European people eat something natural, not chemical, um, not freezing also. We try to give the people something fresh something from the heart yeah, that's it. the restaurant offers a diverse menu of authentic nubian cuisine with emphasis on fresh ingredients this is the amazing clay oven this is the traditional oven in all of upper egypt here we have the madrasa madrasa this is what they put the sun bread on go check out my sun bread video the ambiance and vibe at Nubian House feels more like a dining experience in someone's home rather than some restaurant in Egypt. The smell coming from the kitchen is amazing. Here is Nubi's son who will be showing me around a little bit later. The staff at Nubian House is known for its hospitality and friendliness. Usually when I pass by, I see groups of tourists here. A lot of tour buses come here, maybe 30, 40 people just hanging out and they get a whole experience, clay pottery. They get to look at the Nile while they eat, have a nice experience here. Um, and again, this is a traditional Egyptian home. I've seen about four weddings myself that have come right through this house. They have a natural well here that they pump their water straight out of the ground. Here they have a beautiful guava tree. And if anyone knows about guava trees, it's Egyptians because this is what they use as a form of cough suppressant. So you just grind this up, make it into a tea, boil the leaves up, 
and it is a natural cough suppressant. Again, everything here is family owned and operated. Uh, to a, they made this into a restaurant in the last four years. Uh, you can come here and enjoy a nice meal. You can just came, come and hang out and talk with your friends, whatever you want. But this place is open to the public. Little Ben House. Yeah, Little Ben House. They have a restroom outside for the customers, which is really cool. They've, turned, they've really redesigned their home into a restaurant slash family home. It's really cool. Really cool. Okay, it's almost time for our lunch. I wanted to talk to the chef. However, Nubi explained to me that it's not custom for the woman who's cooking in the kitchen to be seen by others. The lady, you know, little bit the woman shy, you know, about the kitchen. You know, why? Because the words, you know, not possible the woman can somebody go, you know, come from outside to can see, you know, the, the lady. You know, little bit shy and the woman, you know, too difficult. Yes. She took care? Bola. Gola. For today's dining experience, I'll be having a squash dish, mixed vegetables, Egyptian spinach tomato stew, not to be confused with molokia, bread, tahina sauce, and salad. Fresh mint. Mmm. Smells so good. This plant is a fig tree, but in Egyptian or Arabic, this is called teen. Like 13, but teen. So this is a fig tree. These are some handmade pots that they have here. Look at this. This family is really talented. Look at this. What is this called? This looks like... Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Ah, so they are planting pots yeah. to start it off, and then when it gets bigger, you transfer it to the ground. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Shukran. Thank you. Thank you. Nubian House is open seven days a week from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. This is actually a big tour bus coming in right now, full of people, and they are about to come to Nubian House. So. I made it just in time for lunch before it got too packed. I just finished up my meal at Nubian House. It was incredible. Again, if you're ever in Luxor and Ramla, right on the front line, the next step is the Nile. This is called Nubian House. Check it out. It's not 100% vegan. It's not 100% vegetarian, but they can accommodate. So if you're ever in Luxor, Egypt, on the west bank of Luxor, don't forget to stop by Nubian House. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join us for more amazing adventures from around the world. Going, going, back, back.